in an age of artificial intelligence and robotics and synthetic, synthetic biology and so on, what we teach is now as important as how we teach. We've spent the past few decades perfecting pedagogical methods and so on, and that's all very valid. But we haven't really revisited what matters in all the disciplines we cover. We haven't freed up time and space to bring in other disciplines that matter, such as entrepreneurship, robotics, wellness, social systems, and so on and so forth. We haven't revisited with the scalpel, not the chainsaw, the traditional disciplines to pay a lot more attention again to what matters. So for instance, why so much trigonometry in a world awash with data and so little statistics and probabilities, for instance. And with all of this, as we rethink the knowledge part itself, why aren't we embedding competencies such as skills and character qualities and meta-learning abilities in a way that is systematic, deliberate and demonstrable? And that's what we're talking about here. You know, how do we do all these things to adapt our learning, our students' learning, to a century that has no equal and where the rate of change is dizzying? The only general advice is be careful and do it carefully, line item by line item. Don't necessarily think of eliminating entire sections because very often there is a validity in some of what in what's left. For instance, I use trigonometry as an example very often. Well, we need to understand periodicity, you know, sine wave, cosine, and so on. That's really important, but not arc secant. That's automated now in uh, surveying instruments or so on. So there's this fine grained distinction, and one lens to use is does this really matter nowadays versus mattered 50 years ago? Every single line item needs to be revisited this way with an eye towards moving into deep understanding expertise and transfer and paying more attention to that rather than the lower echelons of data, information and perhaps knowledge.